Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way! Fuck. Shotguns have a very small range, so we can just kind of stay out the fucking range, we're good to go. Which is not what we're currently doing, we're definitely in range for that other shotgun. So let's get the fuck out of there. Maybe. Get him out. Yeah, I ain't got time for you with that fucking little pew pew gun. Beautiful. Alright. Well, hold on, because that definitely says mock puff, so it means we're going to be fighting something that is going to be a little hurtful to us. Um, let's go ahead and go Wong Fu. Maneuvers, we already have everything. Super Wong Fu, we already have everything. Basic range, basic melee, we have everything. Range combat. Uh, dual wheel gun, I didn't know we could do that. Rifles. We will do the Unstoppable Duck and the Cursed Beaver, which is all right left, all right left. Um, what about... No. Dual wield melee. We have everything. Not sure if we gained all of our health back, but you know we're gonna find out. The real mega muck in that cage looks like it could cause serious turmoil. Hard work opens doors. Oh, just a few moves left. Make them count. Do we got? We don't gotta fight it, right? Just like get it. out of the mega muck's way. There are places up ahead far worse than this. The wire claw looks like it's strong enough to pull down a gate. But you just need to aim straight, shoot and pull anybody home? The Ankati tribe believe that solidarity is what is needed to keep the world in balance. They're steadfast in their conviction to unite the tribes and move forward together as one. I mean, I don't know how solidarity and uniting are anywhere near... He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. Close to the same There's thing, no but... reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. Um, exactly, but that's the whole fun of it. He'll fight for what matters. Today, he'll fight you. But tomorrow, he hopes to fight by your side. Maybe. Damage this dude. Not the same as when we were in training now, is it, buddy? Not at all. You ain't even getting it. I just wanted to be 
goofy and I can get that. I thought we were going to lose. We almost did, but at the same time, I was playing around there at the end, so that's my own fault. For the, the almost rival loss. Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but you either stay true to the cause, or not loyal at all. It's black and white. He likes the way you think. Obedience is obtained by the fear of punishment. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Step by step, until all have given up their rights for the good of others. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Interesting. He says you'll regret not being on their side. <laughs> the only Jaguar. way you learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. It looks like his is shurikens. Your Sifu is pleased. Your help sealed victory and the destiny of the rival tribe. But he's still eager to seal the fate of the world. It's just a matter of time before... It's easier to wage war than to make peace. That's but true. it's harder to win. Oh. You've grown so much. And now, the tribe relies on your strength to take on the... Your growth is the result of you working together. And staying with them all the way to the end will make you thrive when the new world begins. It's the Ankati bow. There it is. New tribe weapon. Well, damn. Now the new fucking rival outposts are all the way to fucking bumfuck Egypt. Um. And it kind of sucks. This story is about a hero. That's okay. That just means we can we got time to do um, a whole bunch of side quests if we really want to. About it this way. You got anything for us? Not really. That's all right. This broken down piece of shit area anyway. We'll just keep going the way we came. Oh wow, that was pretty easily. Says your aura makes you feel black-hearted. Well, yeah, I mean, we are playing the dark walkthrough, so I would be upset if it wasn't. So the Mechton wreck box and the coal find the upper, the fixer upper. Alright. Well, Fixer Upper, we are on the way. And probably don't just want to... I mean, can I? Interesting. Well, that went better than I expected it would. So, I'll take it. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. At least it amount. I know for us it's not going to kill us. But I didn't know whether or not it would kill the mount. Which would have upset me a little bit. Holy shit. Um, okay. Well, looks like we're cliff. Jumping. Oh my god. 
I mean, I know I'm being ballsy right now, but I don't need to be overly ballsy. Don't distract this beastie. It's working. Yes, it is. What is through You've here? Located the village of Hubbledon. A pew pew broker and a whole bunch of stuff. Let me hop off real quick. Let's explore the little town. Let's see. Real quick. Just find out what the good old fashioned town has in store for us. Maybe a few uh, health things. That would be fantastic. There's the Pew Pew Broker. The vendor says you can browse his goods anytime during opening hours. Says there's usually a line, but today's your lucky day. Alright. And, oh. Well, that was probably the easiest to run around and find everybody. Strange things from the dead zone. The Wonders why you're in such a hurry. They've got plenty of stock. Not in a hurry. Just don't really want to hear you talk. I'm kind of impressed, to be honest with you. That's also got biohazard too. Do you have anything in these huts that might be of use to this good man? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Maybe I was asking for a Nothing bit much there. Nothing more important right now than this. Uh, well, I would say it's not really, that. considering that Happy every to game have someone as tough as you that ready to talks help about raise everything to the ground, a like end of the world scenario. There's always like plenty of time to do all the side quests. Always, you never really have to rush, unless you really want to. In which case, you can. I believe that is a bomb shelter. Not mistaken, that is. Which one is this? Looks like wholesome, a tidy little cave. Huh. Wholesome, huh? A plank place like this is a fire trap. Well, I'd have to agree with you. Interesting. Oh, burn the... How? Oh. Okay. We just magically pull a torch out from absolutely nowhere. Charcoal for boom. And more charcoal. I didn't even notice our health, too. Our health is actually um, a higher, a lot higher again. Although, I guess we did just get a vitality increase with uh, the push-up doohickey. Thank God for the health pack. We I appreciate all share you. the same destiny. Destruction or survival. Indeed, the survival rate of everybody is always determined by a couple people. Never really changes regardless of which history you're talking about. The actions of few judge the many. Or affect the many, I should say.
can we get that away? Because I'm still not entirely sure what all, um, you know, you need. Now, the Mekton boxes. Technically, I could spend some time getting them now, but I'd rather wait and get the um, Mekton first and then spend the time looking for the stuff with the Mekton in hand. That seems like a much, much smarter avenue than trying to do it all right now. That's alright though. Damn, that fucking sword is badass, man. And all the extra little damage we're doing. Might knock him off the edge. Look at that, we did. Beautiful. Punt that little bastard. Stories keep moving whether you drive them or not. So there's one little oh that's a that is a outpost. So that's why it has a little fly a flying balloon. That makes sense. Just making sure we're still on the right path because this place does do nothing besides hover over nothingness, so. Or, excuse me, it's probably something, but I'm assuming it's probably something bad. So, my general rule of thumb is, you know, stay the fuck away from it. Unless you know what the fuck it is. Although, at the same time, I'm not gonna complain because I would definitely just kind of like go see what everything is it's just more so based upon the fact that I'm not trying to die immediately um, now the question is where oh well, there Let's is see. a point of reference I guess it's just the point of reference from him. There's a side point behind him. I didn't even see that. One son. Boom says he's maybe the only one profiting from the way the world is burning. He's happy to put the charcoal from the scorched earth to good use. Boom says his speciality is homemade salt, Peter, which he makes from a dung mix his friend Moog makes for him. Collecting the various dung that makes up the special Boom Poo blend is an expedition, though, so Moog isn't giving it up for free. However, you shouldn't need to part with too much green to buy the brown from Moog for him. Boom promises he'll make it worthwhile. Well... Whatever. Come on, it takes dude. a little stink to make a big bang. Boom welcomes you back on his terms. Boom says he told you not to come back without getting your hands on some boom poo from Moog. Boom welcomes you back on his terms. So this is getting take it easy. Of course it is. Um, okay. So, that's kind of fucked up. We, we go find your little shit, and then you're like, Oh no, we need something extra. 
That's fucked, dude. I'm gonna go f my other fucking crane. Chrome dome. Um. Muscle squeezers that way. I mean, we've done... We've gotten a good portion of this map uncovered, to be honest with you. I mean, I th really only think it's, uh... Because, what, we only have... One, two, three, four... So we got five more tribes to uh, take down. So I would think that the one tribe's going to be here, the other tribe's going to be here. And then this kind of just going to be a cluster of a bunch of stuff. Because I don't even think we've been... Yeah, we haven't even been down there yet. So, alright, let's just go to Boom, see what the hell he wants for his powder. Um, it's shockingly dark. Side point things every fucking where over here. It's kind of fantastic, to be honest with you. Although we don't really need them at this point. It's not really going to help us too terribly much to have all these extra side points. Because um, I don't really plan on doing anything that gets us light points at this point. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll do a little bit just if there's something I want from the light side to spend some side points on. But, I mean, generally speaking, our actions are going to be that of, a, of the dark side, so... It's not really going to work out in our favor forever. Hmm. Maybe we'll try the boat for now, see what happens. Alright. This thing is loud. Where is it? I'm thinking it's down here. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. But I am very confused currently, because there should be a way down. But there's not. Unless the way down is in the hypoxia zone, and we can't get down there because of the fact that hypoxia will kill us, in which case there's a reason we can't get down there. So, yep, we'll just kind of call that that and leave it alone. It's time to go to boom. Between the stars. Come on, horsey, giddy up. It is this way, right? Okay, we technically could go two ways. this way. What the fuck is that? Um, okay, last time I fought one of those things, it didn't give me anything besides a bunch of fucking trouble. And, um, uh, took all my fucking health potions to actually kill it. So, we are gonna ignore it and run past it this time. Yeah. Ignore it and run past it. Let's see. Seems like just another place to enter this fucking hypoxia zone. Um which is increasingly where I think this guy is is in this hypoxia zone. Yeah. 
Alright, so that kind of sucks. That means that we need the hypoxia suit, which I have absolutely no clue. Because if we go to journal... Yeah, the previous dialogue. Okay, well, it's the first time we're doing an oxygen suit. Tune the ping dish to locate the oxygen suit. Um. Is your mount paying attention? Well. I need to go do these climby spots. That fucking sucks. I guess I gotta go do these fucking climby spots for Pebble first. Um, can I fast travel anywhere? No, I didn't find anything to... Actually, I can fast travel. I gotta get off my mount. Um, okay, let's go here again. Let's not get in that moat. God damn it. Fucking buttons. Uh, tab. Thank you. Map. Although I could have just hit M, but you know, like a special person. Is that? Oh, it's one of our fucking outposts, which is why I don't have it on my map. That is fucking stupid. Okay, so, you know, there's something to make sure that when you fucking do the dumb shit, you make sure you fucking get your own tribe shit. So. Fuck. Um. Cause it's all the way up there, right? Let's just go here. We'll fast travel there, go to the next one, we'll just go up and around. It's gonna be the easiest way to do it. And eventually we'll go get the other one and go from there. But until that point, it's not really there there's no reason to go anywhere. That we don't need to. Alright. Let's go here. We'll attract the captives. See that e waste? You could use that for sure. Oh, I definitely can. It's definitely gonna be why I grab it. Um, that looks like something I can go uh, grab, or not grab, but use. Like a little shrine to pray to. There's a monolith right there. Yep. Keep your eyes out for Nono. You got it dialed in. See where that light leads. Interesting. What the hell does that mean? Don't let the day pass you by. That looks dead down there. Um, alright, let's... How the fuck do I get down? Maybe this way. Although I would like to have my, uh, little goat buddy back. What's up, goat buddy? Let's go. Just me and you off traveling again. Thank you, ma'am. What you got for me? Anything? Hopefully a health potion or something. Nothing. You are a waste of fucking time. That's so rude. 
You give me nothing. Ooh, what's that though? Well, that's definitely a bandit cam. Right? I'd assume so. But I'm not sure. The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. Is it? Gee whiz, dude, I really hope you're right. Not really, we all know the answer to that question. It's there just ain't no hero story. Where you at? Just fly through the world, thank you. We appreciate your company. Mr. Sheepy Sheep. Go get this ah, plastic. plastic scrap like that always comes in handy. him down. I don't know what the hell he is. Some little rock golem looking thing. But we'll take that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Another little health potion. So I'm pretty sure at this point we're probably back up to like seven of them. So that's uh, a lot better than what it was. So we'll definitely take that and avoid whatever the hell that is. Don't look that beasty in the sears. What? What beastie? Now I'm confused. Game, you can't do that and not explain to me what you mean. Alright, let's go help the captive. Welcome to Camp Aiko. The bandits here won't greet you so kindly. None of the bandits have ever greeted us kindly. I was like, kind has never been in, been even a, a reasonable statement for any of these fucking guys. Oh, so far. It's pretty fucking dope. Jeez. All right, little Mr. Captive, Captive Dude, you will have to wait a second because I am going to be taking all of the goodies from these guys. Searching?
searching for. Oh, that's right. It gives me upgrade points. I forgot. That's what banning camps do. Cryo freeze. Ooh. Keep hold of that. That might be nice for that barrel we just picked up. Interesting. This could be the beginning of the end of everything. But I'm working well, yeah, but... This one seems to be in good spirits despite being left here for dead. Has heard that you only follow your own personal code and is worried you've lost your respect for life. Asks you to do the right thing. Is sad to see you're staying on this road to ruin and that you're so determined to help no one other than yourself. Can you feel that? It's getting dusky in here. Hold up! There's no need to rush into things. Sounds like you're just flat out lazy to me. Lazy? Because I fight against the dark. Because you're <laughs> against just getting things done. Yeah, fuck him. It was own his own damn fault that he got captured. He should have been stronger. Right? Right. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll be falling to the muck. Um, alright. Now, what? I say, there's something right here. We might as well figure out. Since we're here, huh? Old train. I'm sure it has something on it. What is that? Might as well figure it out. Oh. Salesman? In the middle of nowhere. to check out the wares. Confident you'll... Okay. Wants you to know you won't find a better deal anywhere else. Oh. I can buy... Okay. I am mistaken. I can buy health packs. I didn't realize I could buy health packs. Interesting. Um, well, I can sell you some stuff because I don't really use a lot of this shit. Although you don't really, you're not that helpful. I mean, I guess. Ah. No, I'll hold on a to him for now. Business. But that's Tell nice to know. Gallop. Now we know there's actual people that sell um, health packs. I didn't know that. Now I do. Spot that fixer upper. Got to be something worthwhile in it. Uh, Go get on it. And run fast as you can. You run like the wind. Interesting. All right. Is there anything here that's worth finding? Hmm. Anything besides that? No. Nope. Okay. We're out. <laughs> 